let's see how you can create your own personalized storybook apps. We'll be combining an array of OpenAI APIs such as GPT-4 for crafting compelling narratives, text-to-speech for immersive audio experiences, and DALE for generating vibrant illustrations. This may sound like a complicated task that would involve writing a lot of code, but luckily for us, we'll be using Billship. Billship is a low-code visual backend builder that you can use to build any API or backend logic you want. And as you'll see today, it's the perfect choice for building AI-powered apps. Okay, let's get building. In Billship, you'll find a bunch of templates with new additions being made regularly to help you quickly get started building your own backend. These templates can be taken and remixed with ease to match your specific requirements. Let's choose the Storybooks with DALE template to begin. This template will set up a fully complete workflow for us. The only thing left to do is to add the necessary API keys. But before we deploy the workflow, it's worth taking some time to review each of the nodes to understand what's happening within the workflow. The first node is a trigger node. In this case, we're using the REST API call trigger. The path is set to generate storybook and the HTT method is set to post. After we deploy this workflow, we'll get an API endpoint that we can call to generate our storybook. Next up, we have two form value extractor nodes. We're using these nodes to extract and return two fields that we care about from the request body. These two fields are the story prompt and the writing style. Now, the first phase of the storybook generation process involves generating a complete story script that includes the storybook cover and pages. For each page, we want to have both text content and illustrative content. So to generate all of this textual content, we're using the OpenAI chat node. In the system prompt, we're telling GPT to generate a storybook content and return it in JSON format. While we're here, let's set our OpenAI API key. If you don't already have one, then you can easily create one by going to secrets, add secret. For user requests, we're using the value returned from the first form value extractor node. This is the prompt which will contain the description of the storybook we want to generate. Next, we use the parse JSON node to convert the JSON string output that we receive from the OpenAI chat node. We're doing this because the output of the OpenAI chat node will be a JSON string, and we want to convert it to a valid JavaScript object. And because later on, we're going to be uploading a number of files to cloud storage, we want to generate a unique name for each file so that we avoid overriding any existing files. So here we're using the UUID generator node for doing just that. Now we get to the interesting part of the workflow where we are generating the storybook by combining a number of OpenAI integration nodes. Because this process can be very compute expensive, we're executing all of this within a parallel node. This node will execute all the nodes within at the same time, thereby boosting the efficiency of the overall workflow. Let's go to the first sequence. We're using a loop node to loop through the pages array we get from the parse JSON node. This will contain all the GPT generated storybook pages. And what we want to do is convert the text of each page to speech. For this, we're using the OpenAI text to speech node. First, we'll add our API key. The model is set to TTS1, and the text we want to convert to speech is set to the text content of the current loop item. And we're specifying that the voice we want to use is Nova. It's important to mention that our choice to use the OpenAI text to speech node in this workflow is not required. Billship provides a wide array of nodes for integrating with various APIs. For instance, you can easily opt for the PlayHT node if you prefer to convert text to speech using a different service. Now, the text to speech node will return a base64 file that we can then take and upload to cloud storage. We're using the upload base64 file node to do this. We get the file we want to upload from the text-to-speech node and upload it to a unique path in the cloud storage bucket. 
by using the value generated by the UUID generator node. The second sequence involves creating the storybook cover image. We accomplish this by using the image generator node, which uses the OpenAI's DALE API to convert text into an image. At this point, we'll add our OpenAI API key once more. And here we're utilizing the DALE tree model for generating the images. And we're also specifying the size of the image we want to generate. And just as before, we're using the upload file node to upload the generated cover image to a unique path in the cloud storage. In the final sequence, we're generating the illustrative images for the individual pages of the storybook. We are using a sleep node here to halt the execution for 10 seconds because we want to avoid being rate limited by the OpenAI API while we're generating the images. Next, we have the same image generator node as before. So let's add our API key. And for the input text, we're using the illustration text content returned from the current loop item to generate the cover image. And as usual, we want to upload the image generator result to a unique path in the cloud storage bucket. And that's all we have in the parallel node. The next node we're using, Format Pages, is there to put everything together. It combines the cover images and audio URLs that we get from the earlier steps into our final storybook. Finally, we want to return the result, which is our complete generated storybook. We use a return node for this, setting it to return the output from the Format Pages and marking the status code as OK. Well, that brings us to the end of our workflow. Let's go ahead and deploy it. And after just a few seconds, our workflow is now live and available for public access. We'll copy the workflow endpoint URL. Now we can proceed to test and ensure it works as expected. We want to make a post request to our workflow endpoint URL. And in the request body, we'll add the prompt which is what we'll use to describe the story we want to generate. In this case, we're setting it to on a distant planet, a curious alien discovers the power of friendship and saves their home from a looming asteroid. We'll send this request. And look at that. After a short while, we get back the generated storybook in JSON format. We have a cover section and all the pages that make up the storybook. Each page has a text, audio URL, and cover image. We can take a look at the cover image to see if it aligns with our original prompt. And it's safe to say that it does. Great, our backend is now fully completed and fully operational, ready for integration with any front end of your choice. It's that easy when building the Billship way. Give Billship a try today and let us know what you think. That's all for now. See you in the next one.